Hello everyone. In this video, we're gonna talk all about how to live stream and I'm gonna share some of my tips. So one of the best ways of making extra revenue on YouTube is through live streaming. It gives you access to different features such as super chat, super stickers. Pre-recording videos is cool, but the live interaction that you get from live streaming, I love it. So how do you get started with live streaming? All you need is one of these, a mobile telephone with the YouTube app. And that brings up this little box here and then you go live. It really is just that simple. The wonderful thing about the YouTube app is that it comes up with the chat so we can see what the community is saying and we can respond in real time. I remember I started seeing super chats coming in instantly and people were just excited about the ability to support me financially. So I actually started live streaming a couple of years ago when I needed 4,000 hours of watch time in order to enable monetization on my channel. And although I was really nervous at first, I knew it was what I wanted to do and I wanted to sustain an audience. Of course I had concerns for someone that is still today is scared for public speaking. If you can perform in front of a camera, you can perform during a live stream. With live streams, a lot of people are worried like, what if I make a mistake? What if I do all these other things? But the more you do something naturally, the more comfortable you get. I basically do educational dance videos. Um, it's like tutorials. A lot of YouTubers do that. And I've been doing it for quite a while now. I thought, okay, I'm gonna do live streaming live classes and I'm gonna make them free. I suddenly discovered that there is the super chat, the sticker situation actually gave me another means of income, like an alternative little something something. And it's beautiful because live streams on YouTube gave me that opportunity. To be completely honest, you don't really need massive amounts of equipment to do a live stream. When I first started, I was streaming on my phone. I never let the lack of equipment stop me because the hardest thing to do is to get started. I actually used YouTube tutorials and these enabled me to use my vlog camera as my camera for the live, which was a total game changer and it made the quality of my videos look way better. We've chosen to go a little bit more and to have one of these mobile smart lavier microphones. The thing is, even if your camera quality is not the best, if the audio is good and the content's good, people will still tune in because people can just listen to the audio. My first step, which I still really stand by, was creating a streaming schedule. So I would reply to comments, I would put at the end of my videos and I would put across my other social media platforms that I would be streaming at a certain time on a certain day every single week. Now that is also very easy. You go to the same create, you go to the same live and over there you can write a little description about your live, you can choose what time you want to schedule it for and you can do a little picture with your camera to make it a thumbnail. Hopefully the notifications are on but if they're not they follow us on Instagram, Twitter, all other social media platforms. You've got to cover all your bases and hey, that's how it's done. If you're stuck for ideas on a live stream, I think Q&As are a great way to go. If you're a channel that always gets asked the same questions, it might be a great idea to do a live stream and just answer all the questions you always get asked. I didn't really know initially how the Q&A would go, but it's been something that's really, really helped grow my channel. On these streams, I have a wheel that could be spun and on that wheel there are a bunch of different incentives that actually affect my game and obviously it entertains them when things go wrong for me which is usually the case with the wheel it's always cool to engage and give back to your audience and they love it one of the craziest live streams i had i think was when i decided to do a watch party for the harry and Meghan interview on oprah there were thousands more people there who were not normally in my audience pool had no idea who i was and were just kind of using me as a vessel, I think, to find out what was going on in the Harry and Meghan interview. And that live stream was crazy. I had never earned more money on a live stream until that live. And I think that with celebratory days, so maybe birthdays, anniversaries, or um, Christmas, people really want to celebrate with you. And often they'll be quite grateful that you've given a certain time of your special day to celebrate with them. When I first started four years ago, I think I had around 48,000 subscribers. And then by the end of the year, I had 100,000 subscribers. So I more than doubled my channel size within around eight months of streaming. The sheer growth that my channel received from streaming on YouTube gaming was just insane. And I'd never experienced anything like it. When I tried streaming on other platforms, it just wasn't the same at all. There was no comparison. So I say don't wait any longer. Plan something in advance. Get yourself set up and just go for it. The best way to experience it is by doing it. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget there's also another video to do with Super Chat and stickers, which go hand in hand with going live on YouTube. So that will be super helpful for you if you're interested in monetizing your channel further. And we'll see you in the next video.